Hello guys, this is Tara Queen. I'm here to do the um, love reading for you Geminis out there for Friday for June 10th until June 17th, 2016. So I'm going to do a five card spread for you. We're going to look at, um, um, you know, what you can see, what you cannot see um, in your relationship or in your love life. Uh, what you cannot, what you can change, what you cannot change, and then you get a final outcome card. So I'm just going to call to the spirits from Gemini, and we want to know what's going on in the love life for the Geminis um, for June 10th, 2016 to June 17th, 2016. Um, please let me shuffle. I'm sorry guys, sometimes I go into a little trance. <laughs> All right. A lot of the same cards that I saw in your monthly reading. Okay, so this is more of a detail focused reading for you for Friday. Um, it looks like what you can see, what you see. You got the tower card for a lot of you Geminis. So what this card means is that you're going to be, um, there's some sort of situation, you know, something, some sort of outdated attitude, outdated um, situation um, that you need to walk away from. Um, more specifically, um, the advice that the Tower card brings specifically from the Pagan. Um, deck is... Where is it? <laughs> um, patterns that are broken. Okay, so same thing, certainties that are shattered and choosing a different path. So um, I think that you see that, you know, coming up as far as in your love life, single or not. Um, so there's some sort of attitude or outdated thing or, or situation even that you were involved in that, you know, you're going to be leaving behind. You're going to choose a, a different path and then what you don't see so this is something being hidden from you within your your love life you did get the justice card so there's some some definitely some karma for some of you that you're dealing with um for some of you you may think things are bad but things are definitely more so in your favor especially judging by the other cards that you got you actually got four major arcanas in your reading. So you got some major stuff coming up this week alone. Um, so the Justice card specifically um, in the Pagan Tarot, besides the karma. So just to let you know, um, something that's hidden, something maybe hidden in your subconscious is, you know, the karma that you're creating. Um, as well as maybe a need for fairness. You know, that's pretty much what the Justice card brings. But, you know, this is reviewing your past, <clears throat> coming to some sort of conclusion. Um, I'm sorry, nope, that is actually um, ju judgment, not judgment, justice. Um, the rule of three, what you create returns threefold. So just to let you know, Gemini's, okay, Watch your karma. Okay, because if you want fairness, you have to be fair. So just keep that in mind in your relationship. More specifically, the justice card um, can mean, um, more specifically in a, in a relationship, it can mean something, uh, you know, something in the past is going to come back up. 
okay, that needs to be dealt with. Um, this is what you can't change. I'm sorry, what you can change. Ugh, I can't talk today. What you can change, you did get the emperor. So this is your relation with as far as how you feel in society as far as whether or not you know you 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 fit in or not where you fit in with society so you know you just want to remember that you know as far as with authority what you want to keep in mind is you know making sure that you respect others and their belief systems as well you know and so that's that that's kind of going back to the karma card as well the justice okay so this is kind of the courtroom with the emperor because the emperor is an authority figure sometimes i see this as a literal person sometimes um but this is what you can change something that you probably need to change the emperor um want you to be true to yourself okay and you know to follow the path of your heart and soul and you need to do what's right and ethical so ethics you know doing what's right again you know not creating bad karma for yourself as mentioned earlier now what you cannot change you did get the lover's card Okay, so this is a major arcana card. Um, you can't really change your involvement with this person. Only you want to take the high road. You can't change that person. You know, this is a direct sign that, you know, in your relationship, if you are currently involved with them, um, you cannot make them do anything. You cannot make them, you know walk beside you okay so you have choices and the other person has choices okay so this is actually your card um more specifically the lover's pagan meaning a choice between two directions of course and you know alternatives that repeat or return so Um, I would say some of you that, you know, are currently involved with someone, maybe you cannot change I'm sorry, maybe you cannot change their destiny in your life you know, if you are happy with someone, maybe you can't change how you feel about them Okay, so just consider that. Your final card, though, is what you can expect. You got the Four of Chalices. This is not a very happy card. This is disappointment. So I do see that this week there's going to be some disappointment. doesn't mean that it's going to last forever. I just can really see some disappointment. Okay? Um, so... More specifically, just to give you the, the little wisdomic meaning, is disappointment with comparing reality and expectation. So just make sure that you are being honest with yourself. You know, you don't want to put someone up on a pedestal and then they let you down. So this is expecting too much out of a person, you know, this week. And you're going to, you know, have some disappointments. Um, whether or not you are, um, you know, single or not. Um, if you're single at the moment, um, I do kind of see, you know, um, with this this lover's card that there was some issues maybe in the past where there was someone that may, maybe could have walked away, walked in another direction. So they could have chose another path. And then your final card being the four of chalices is, is you being disappointed, you know, so make sure that you, you know, make sure that you're honest with yourself about the people that you deal with, 
that you deal with before you go out and meet someone else. And also make sure that you, or if you are involved with someone, that you communicate with them, you let them know that you're not happy, that you're disappointed. Okay? All right, that's going to do it, you guys. Um, make sure that you sub, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment, um, as well as support my channel. You can do it either on YouTube uh, by clicking support this channel, as well as um, you can send me donations to my email. My, e my PayPal email um, is in the video description box along with the link to my website, thedivinemommy.com. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy your week. Bye.